are you more excited about AI, which thinks in protein space or like capsid space or like just, you know, it's like predicting some biological or DNA sequences? Um, or are you more optimistic about just LLMs trained on language, which can like write in English and tell you, here's the experiment you should run in English? Which of those two approaches or is it some combination that when you think I, about AI and bio is more promising? I, I'm much more excited about uh, scientific AI than I am about language AI. I mm -hmm. think languages were in pretty good shape already. And what worries me is that to get to the next level of language um, requires AGI or ASI. Yeah. So a, uh, you know, artificial superintelligence, right. and that's very dangerous. I don't think we have quite figured out how to. And there's a lot of safety organizations and a lot of safety rules and so forth. And I think what typically happens when there's an intense competition is those safety rules get yeah. undermined and pushed aside. But even if they weren't, I just don't think we. I don't think we understand our own ethics well enough to educate yep. a completely foreign. Uh, type of intelligence. I mean, we barely know how to pass it on to the next generation uh, of humans. Um, so I think we need time to sort that out. And there's no rush. This is a completely artificial emergency. This is not like COVID-19, where we actually, millions of people were dying if we delayed uh, the science. This is something where if if there ever is a crisis, it's because we created it. It's not because we're trying to solve it, yeah. right? And so I think we need to go very slowly on AGI and ASI and, and double down on uh, n slightly narrower scientific uh, goals. Um, that's, and, and even that we need to be very cautious about. We need to have kind of an international consensus on what constitutes safe AI. I suppose we d d did build safe superintelligence. Um, how much would that uh, speed up bio progress? It's just like there's a there's a million George churches on data in data centers, yeah. just like thinking all the time. Is it is it a ten x speed I think up? It would, I think it would slow it down. I think <laughs> I think it would eliminate it because like it would, the first thing it would conclude is biology is not in, not relevant to me because I'm not made out of biology. I, I mean, suppose you could like, get get them to care about it. There's just like copies of you. There's a million copies of you in a data center. What, 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 how, how much faster is yeah. bio progress? But they can't like run experiments directly. They're just in data centers. They can they can just say stuff and think stuff. I don't think we have anything close to the assurance that we need that that would be safe. But let's put yeah. safety aside so for a moment. Uh, I think it's hard to I think it's hard to cal it's not only hard to calculate the the bads. It's hard to calculate the goods. So right. I think it could completely be a complete game changer. But on the other hand, um, you know, it's like if we said, um, you know, we could get instantaneous transport all over the earth, right? Well, we could say, yes, that could be a game changer, but do we really need it, right? Is that really important? Maybe it'd be more interesting to just have uh, Zoom calls and they're better, you know, or, or just learn how to get everything we want in our kitchen and we don't need to travel anymore, yeah. right? You know, uh, so, you know, be careful what you ask for, right? You know, because you could tip our priorities towards something that we really don't care about. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.